We're here in round number six of the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo. I'm here with first-time bullfighter Aaron Ferguson. Aaron, tell me about how it's been so far. Uh, it's just been a blast. I mean, getting to be here and fighting bulls with two of my best friends and uh, my buddy John in the barrel. It's it's been awesome to to be able to bring the Maple Leaf back to the world stage and uh, and show them how we do it up there is pretty cool. It's been a while, hasn't it, for for Canada to be here? Definitely. Yeah, uh, Ryan Byrne came in here in uh, 1986, so. I'm the first guy since him, and uh, yeah, like I said, it's just an honor to, to have that title. Um, tell me about how it is fighting with those guys. It's been a kind of a bit different this year compared to previous years. Yeah, we work uh, pretty much the same system, the three of us, so we fight bulls a lot alike, and so there's a lot, you know, uh, there's quite a bit of flow, and uh, kind of trying to confuse the bulls as much as we can, and, and just prevent anybody from taking a hook, and I mean, obviously, if we have to, we're going to, but uh, if we can prevent that, that's our, our main goal out there, so uh, yeah, just the teamwork has been awesome, and it's just been a blast. How much do you guys work together during the year? I work with Dusty quite a bit. I, I probably work uh, 30, 40 perks with him through the year, and uh, this is actually the first time I've ever worked with Webster, but uh, like I said about the fundamentals, we all work on the same system, so to be able to step in here and, and just start fighting bulls together, that that's what that comes back down to is just we fight bulls a lot alike, and, and uh, we're a pretty good match. Um, speaking of that, you guys kind of have the same systems. Who have who do you, who have you looked up to in your bullfighting career? I really, really looked up to Joe Baumgartner coming up. Uh, he was one guy that I always just loved the way he fought bulls. He he was never afraid to take a hook and for a guy, but he always made great offside picks. Uh, always brought the bull away from the situation, and uh, he would always kind of get through those gaps and, and give everybody a chance. And uh, the way he fought bulls is something that I I hope reflects in my my bullfighting and. Uh, I mean, I actually got to meet him the other day, so that was pretty cool, too. That's pretty cool. Uh, tell me about uh, rodeos in Canada. Um, we were talking about that. You kind of haven't been there for a few years. How's that looking in the next few years? you want to get back there? you want to stay down here? What's it looking like? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sewn up with a lot of really good rodeos uh, down here, and uh, but it's something I definitely am open to. I'd love to get back up there and, and work some rodeos. I mean, it is my home, and it's where all my family and friends are at. So uh, to be able to get back up there and... and and be able to get in front of them and, and everyone I've grown up around. I mean, that'd be that'd be awesome. But that's something we'll look at in the future, and uh, and hopefully we can work a few things out. Um, in saying that, what are you looking forward to most the rest of this week, and then looking into next year and years coming? Uh, just here, we just staying consistent and uh, keeping the guys protected. We've had a great first five nights, and we're about to start the second half. So just to be even better than we have been, and uh, you know, I I just hope to keep the ball rolling into the into the new year and and all year long and hopefully come back here next year. All right, Aaron, well, uh, all the best to you guys the rest of the week and next year, and we hope to see you back home a bit more next year too and uh, in the years to come. Uh, thanks again for stopping by. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bud. All right. For everything cowboy.ca and Boulay Boots, I'm Ted Stoven.